Did you know who the University of Alabama's mascot is? Well, of course you do. Everybody knows it's Big Al. But as WVUA 23's Chelsea Barton shows us tonight, there's a more elusive animal that's taken that title as well. Chelsea. Well, Mike, if you've been to campus any time lately, you may have seen her or even heard of her. She's been here at least two years, so technically Lulu should be going into her junior year here at the Capstone. She's here. She's there. She seems to be everywhere. Yes, even there on the top of the old Bryce Hospital building. She is Lulu a brown and black chihuahua mix, and until recently, she was the University of Alabama's elusive mascot. If we try to reach for her or pet her, she'd take off. UA employee Phyllis Northam, along with many others, has been tending to Lulu for over two years. I figure since I couldn't put my hands on her that I'll try to feed her and water her. A staple on UA's campus, Lulu even has her own Facebook page, created to coordinate care for her and ultimately find her a home when she was ready. That brings us to Lulu's new abode. My coworker texted me. She's like, this guy has Lulu. And I'm like, what? I appreciate what all y'all did for her all these years. That guy is Kevin Mount and his Catahoula mix, Carter. Lulu followed us home and she sat out behind, uh, behind my building, barking at the deck all night long, drove the neighbors crazy. And she, that was on a Friday night, and she was back Saturday night, and she was back Sunday night. By Monday night, I just opened the door. She crept on in the house, and next thing I know, her and Carter are on the couch just having a great time. And that's where they are today. Now in the mornings, you know, when I tell Carter I have to go to work, he doesn't sit and sulk and pout. You know, him and Lulu just kind of give me the look like, bye. You know, we'll see you when you get home. Home, something Lulu finally has. She chose a good one. <laughs> I don't really feel like Lulu chose me, to be honest with you. But I think she picked Carter. He's the one with the charisma, not, not me. Even though they didn't realize it, Lulu knew Kevin and Carter needed her to complete their family. So many people have just wanted to touch her just one time. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I told her I'd get her one day. That's, uh, that's pretty incredible that she's meant that much to people. She's been a godsend. And miraculously, Lulu is in really good health, even after all of her adventures. But an account has been set up at May Veterinary Hospital to pay for the medical treatment Lulu does need. So if you'd like to donate, you can contact them. Their number is 205-752-1564. Oh, and Mount is thinking about hosting a meet and greet for Lulu soon. So stay tuned. Live tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA 23 News. I was hoping Lulu would come back and visit us once in a while.